Hello everyone, from the side of uh, Med Videos Crash Course, today we have a topic known as Histology of Testes and in this topic we have basically a tubular system and a testicular system or we can say this a system inside the testes and system outside the testes. These two systems are there. Now first we are going to we are going to study the system inside the testes. As you can see, these uh, this is a structure known as testes, a round somewhat oval structure. Now some this somewhat st oval structure is basically filled with a number of lobules as we can see and a network. This is basically I have tried to create a network of tubules basically here and these are lobules and this this whole parenchyma we can say this whole struct these all structures are basically covered by a thick connective tissue layer this is the thick connective tissue layer which is known as the tunica albuginea and further this tunica albuginea is the outermost covering of testes then inside these testes we have these lobules as you can see these lobules they are known as testicular lobules and further these lobules are uh, differentiated and separated by each other by a septum and as a medical student you you are aware about the term septum septum is anything which differentiates two things or which which is basically a demarcating line between two things so these are the septum between these lobules known as septula testi the word from the word septum it is taken and known as septula septum from septum septula now septula testes are the basically septum present between the lobules and now no, inside these lobules there is a network of tubules known as seminiferous tubules and these seminiferous these seminiferous tubules are basically the structure the functional unit of whole testes now these seminiferous tubules are very uh, convoluted and uh, convoluted structure which is connected to this network by a single tube known as straight tubule these straight tubules are basically connecting seminiferous tubule in each of the lobule to the network like structure this is the network and uh, the word reti means network and thus they are labeled as reti testes reti testes is basically the network and these straight tubules which connect the seminiferous tubule to the reti testes are known as tubuli recti tubuli recti or tubuli recti the, the both can be both are accepted now further the sperms from the these basically sperms are formed in the seminiferous tubules and then these sperms are transported from the seminiferous tubule to the straight tubule then from a straight tubule they are transported to the re reti testes now from reti testes this gigantic structure is basically known as epididymis and this the connection between reti testes and epididymis which uh, which basically conveys these sperms from reti testes to the epididymis this structure is known as efferent tubules which which uh, transport the uh, sperms from reti testes to the epididymis now epididymis is a very big structure as compared to the testes and other things and this structure is further divided into three parts the head part the body part and the tail part and then these sperms are transported to another tube, a elongated tube and a thick muscular tube known as vas deferens which further transported to the other structure which are not, not included in histology of testes but this is the overall histology of testes. Now com coming to the functions of testes there are two major functions of testes. Number one is the formation of the uh, hormone testosterone in our body and number second is the formation of sperms the male gamete to for the purpose of fertilization now if we take a longitudinal section of spur uh, we can say seminiferous tubule we would find a structure like this a structure like a circular structure in which there are cells and there is outer institutium which is covering these seminiferous tubules now there is an important type of cell in institutium known as lyric cells lyric cells are responsible for further for me for the formation of pro hormone which is testosterone the pro type of testosterone which further is converted into testosterone by the sartori cells these are the sartori cells the, the, the tall columnar cells these are the uh, lytic cells and these cuboidal somewhat cuboidal cells are basically the spermatogenic cells genic means producing one spermatogenic means the cell which produces sperms now further if we come to the single physiology of these type of cells we have uh, we have two sartori cells and in between them uh, these are columnar and in between them there are spermatogenic cells now you can see this there is a 
is a type of barrier forming between these cells and these cells there are these are further mature sperms and these are spermatids and these are primary spermatocytes and uh, primary we can say spermatogonia but what is the difference why this this junction is there it is called as blood testis barrier and this area above the blood testis barrier is known as adluminin surface and this area below the test uh, the barrier is known as basal surface or basal compartment now this this blood testis barrier has some physiological and very important uh, uh, we can say importance and that importance is basically of there there are two major importance of this uh, this uh, barrier first is that the immune system the blood directly flows in this compartment doesn't flow but doesn't come flows in this compartment because the and the uh, if you can if now you would ask that uh, how nutrition comes into this uh, the, in this compartment the nutrition comes into this compartment compartment by simple diffusion but uh, let me clear the thing that the blood test is barrier is here to stop any immunological uh, reaction which could be created by uh, antibodies when they come encounter come and encounter the spermatogonia or spermatid now why because sperms are basically considered a uh, you can say foreign body in our body even in female body they are considered foreign bodies so we have to consider them very important now regarding the flow chart this is the flow chart in which we first have spermatogonia then we have primary spermatocytes then secondary spermatocytes then spermatids and then spermatozoa the major importance here is this thing is the blood testes barrier which differentiate these both compartments what is the major form here which is the major difference here is the first mitotic division taking place here and after myto meiosis we know that the the number of chromosome become half and that's the reason the things are transported from the uh, the the things are the sperms are primitive sperms are transported from this compartment to this compartment in order to uh, for two functions first is to uh, stop any immunological reaction second is to second function is basically to protect these from any toxin any blood borne toxin or any drug that is in blood and that can damage them easily and if they would be damaged there would be a serious harm to further uh, the infertilization process or in pregnancy or further uh, harms can be done and this is all the histology of uh, testes and i hope you would you have liked it and if you liked it yeah, give a thumbs up to this channel and kindly subscribe it and you can give your feedback down below in the comment section thank you